Hey everybody, from Star Trek Mission Chicago, hey Trek land, visiting some of the folks that are in some of the really interesting booths, most of them are licensees, and I'm going to start off here a quick visit with one of the most interesting tales from Star Trek, from Star Trek merch and the shoe wear industry that you're going to hear about. We're here at the John Fluvog booth, and I'm talking with... Steven? Yeah, Steven. <laughs> There's a whole, look at this. No, it's, it, it, it is. The most There's a whole gang here. The John Fluva. Tell us, this is all about the footwear on Strange New Worlds. This is the most interesting story I've ever heard. It's a Star Trek series. And yes, we laugh about they all have their own uniforms now and footwear. But basically, this, the series, through the costume designer, has contracted with you all to supply their boots and at the same time, You've got a license to give them to sell those the footwear, the boots, to fans, to the audience. Exactly the same. No, no exactly changes. the same. Yeah. No difference. Yeah. So I mean, in a way, the the pre-order to fans was kind of an afterthought. Um, so we we've, we've worked with production groups before and costume departments before, but it's it's not it's not usually with the interest of selling them to the general public. Usually, it's kind of a fun project for us, and we can. Right. As a small company, we're able to do some some custom work for different productions, and we worked with Karen Lee and Bernadette and and the whole team in the costuming department for Strange New Worlds with our own design team, which is fun for everybody. And um, you know, if you've seen the booth over there, Strange New Worlds uniform, um, it's which on. Which you got one? You you got a live here? Yeah, we're so lucky to have this guy here. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, most of the cast are wearing are wearing these boots. Um, the, the fleet boot and so we're, we have it available for pre-sale but um, but you know the the, uh, the production took about 400 pairs and uh, and that's probably the best you know vote of confidence that we can provide for people that we are a shoe company first and so we're not we're not a prop company we're not a wardrobing company we we've been making footwear for 52 years out of Van well not out of Vancouver Canada this boot uh, in particular, is made in Portugal. Why don't you, why don't yeah, you show us off with a. So we got gray for medical and black for everybody else. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the pre sale ends tonight, uh -huh. and then they get delivered July 31st. But it's been, uh, it's just been the, the greatest coming together for us. We, we would never have guessed we'd have been here. And we've um, we've been learning every day. I mean, how many fan conventions, genre shows have you ever been to? Has the company been to? This is uh, this is our first. I was yeah, say, yeah, zero before yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's been it's been great. And actually, the more we learn about the the franchise and the culture, it is it's such a strong fit with Fluvog as well. We have a very loyal fan base. Uh, once well, you see our talk collection, because because the so John Fluvog is a very unusual company. I mean, this is amazing. Basically, it's like you have some basic chassis, and people can put their own body on the chassis. You've got this, or you explain it. The yeah, soul. that's not. Yeah, yeah. That's not the case. I, I think you'll see here. We've been making this that heel mm -hmm. uh, and that that uh, that sole mold for years now, um, and we. I think it's just the case that we design multiple styles multiple times throughout the year. They're not custom for different people. They are part of our own collection, but we make very small okay. runs. So that's why when you look at something like this, that looks like about four, four to 10 different shoe companies. That's because John is a, a very creative guy who, who loves to express Wait, himself. John is an actual person. Yeah. <laughs> That was not a. That was not a. Uh, it's not a group shop name. It's there. not a Warby Parker. It's not a. No, it's yeah. a. John Fluvog owns the company, started the company, and uh, is very involved on a regular basis with the design team as well. And the Strange New Worlds designer is Bernadette Croft. Right, and you all had worked with her before on. So I, uh, we had crossed paths with her before, and Karen Lee, the the costume supervisor, um, we had worked with her on previous productions including I can't remember which Star Trek um, series that we worked with them but this would have been like five years ago and then probably 10 years no 12 years ago on Scott Pilgrim versus the world we, we worked with them as well so these are these are just being great relationships that, that come and go when people need things and uh, such as life right yeah so the pre-sale ends tonight can people at home get these or you have to be here at the show no the yeah the majority of people uh, the majority of sales have happened around the world through the website through the fluvog.com website um, 
and then we've we've obviously sold a, a bunch here. It's been very busy. Uh, if you buy in the um, in the booth, there are some bonuses that you get, mm -hmm. but uh, that hasn't stopped people from buying elsewhere as well. Oh, okay. No, I just somebody already was in the live chat said, "Can we buy? Can we get that? Can we buy them now, or can we get the the, the pre-sale price, or, or even just buy them?" Now? So the pre-sale price is three ninety nine. You can still get it um, up until midnight tonight. You can buy them at fluvog.com. Okay. Um, is there like a special? You go to fluvog.com. Is there like you a won't miss it? Star Trek you won't miss it. Yeah, we're so <laughs> excited. It's like it'll be the first thing you see. Okay. Um, yeah. So. I mean, that, that's really the only uh, limiting feature is that it ends tonight. They will be carried in the stores uh, in the late fall, but, but the pre-sale orders will come first. I mean, first. they look really... So talk about the shoe. Well, the shoe, like I said, we've been doing this last and this, they're, they're uh, this right? silhouette for, um, for about five years. Okay. Uh, rubber sole. Um, it, it's, it is... I, I mean, if, if people aren't here to try them on, they, they won't believe how comfortable they are. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, the, the thing I'm hearing from about 90% of people who put them on is, uh, wow, they're actually really comfortable as though, <laughs> bless you, as though uh, as though they don't look comfortable, which I understand well, they look this, a bit clunky, this, right? This back panel is kind of... Yeah, they're, they're, there are very few people that they haven't worked for. It's a, it's a very, um, very flexible, elastic back piece. And actually, don't even take my word for it. Uh, Bernadette was on a panel yesterday talking about costuming, and they... They've probably had about 400 pairs, and she said there was only one person who was a men's size 15 that they didn't fit. So everybody else, they've been fitting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but just, you know, just so we know, here's the yeah, the black yeah, one is sure. same thing, right? Yeah. Again, the black is majority. The gray are for medical. That's they, right. The Correct. current shows make a big deal about having medical in their own whites and grays. Yeah. Yeah. That's just. But this thing on this panel on the calf is. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a game changer for sure to fit a lot of is people. Is that a is that a when you do boots? Is that a common thing that you that John Fluvog does, or is that something special? That yeah, we we started from? doing that a little bit more frequently, probably about ten years ago. Um, gives you a lot of uh, versatility for sure. Yeah. Everybody's foot is different. Everybody's calf is different. But this one is really nice because even if even if you don't usually have an issue fitting your calves. Um, it's still it's still snug enough that it's not yeah. it's not um, you know uh, too loose. So when she says we want to work together, did they submit? This is based on your existing. I mean, where was the line between something off the shelf, so to speak? But you you aren't an off the shelf company, but something you had entirely and some of their design quirky Star Trek things or some of their demands for shooting. You know, all of that. It's I, I think. Um, when you come to an established shoe company to want to do something that is uh, meant for something as special as Star Trek, I think if if you want a wearable shoe, you, there are certain elements that the that the shoe company has to do themselves. And so this sole, like I said, we've been doing for for five years, and um, so we started with this. Uh, we're very fortunate that the look of this sole and the shape of this sole. Yeah, uh, and this, um, Can you do this you? yeah, there we and go. this last uh, worked right. for the team, um, and then the rest of it was working with their design team and our design team to, to see what we could do and how close we could get it to their vision. So I guess you had the creative side with them to begin with to get the show supplied, and then was selling it yourselves as a licensee. Was that part of the the, the idea in the beginning, or did that come along? No, it just came along afterwards. It came along afterwards because we'd been made so many. So a, a regular um, style run or size run that we would do would be three to 400 pairs, and they had already taken 400 pairs for production. So we were starting to make a lot of this boot, so that, that's when it probably occurs to us that, that we could make more of this boot and make them available. We've gotten very good at making it. The, the one thing that is key to say is this is the exact boot that they're wearing on the show, so there aren't any modifications. Now wait, there's no little like catch that 30 years from now, people can say, well, look, this was a show boot, this was a retail boot at all? Not that I know of. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So then you had to deal with licensing and get those contracts set up. Yeah. But, that was, but here you are. Was there, I mean, when did this all come together? This is the first time you've been out in public offering it. Did it debut this weekend? Yeah, on Thursday it came out, Friday it went on sale. Yeah. Okay. But it's been two years in the making, almost two years now. Yeah. Well, pandemic slowed them down. I guess it gave you some time, maybe? 
Yeah, I mean, it's obviously it slowed everybody down in, in different different uh, ways, but yeah, it slowed the production down a little bit. We were talking previously about Comic Con in June, last June, but the the series wasn't ready at that point, as far as I know. In Comic Con, you San Diego. Yeah. Well, yeah. and then they were delayed. They totally. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it couldn't have. We're we're so thrilled to be here. This is yeah. the way it should have been. Well, yeah. this is. I like the framing there. I like your shirt. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I should sit up what's, straight. What's been the reaction here this weekend? Um, more than we anticipated. Uh, it's been very exciting, and and uh, yeah, it's it's just been a, a thoroughly enjoyable experience. So no regrets. This is going to be a good thing. <laughs> we're we're really excited. Honestly, it's it's um. It's also we're we're learning as we go um, about about this culture and about this community, yeah. and coming from a brand that has a strong culture and strong community, um, we're really excited to continue to be a part of it. So, um, you know, assuming the series keeps going and assuming there's still interest, um, we'd love to to be a part of it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, listen, thanks for joining. So people can go to johnfluvog.com. That's right. No, 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 no. Fluvog.com. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fluvog.com. Yeah. And catch the uh, fluvog.com and catch uh, ordering. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for talking to us. Total this pleasure. Is, uh, guys, uh, everybody's, it's Sunday and everybody's still standing. So good deal. And uh, thanks a lot. I hope, okay. I hope it's, uh, I hope this is, a, this is such a unique, right? This is unique in the industry, right? Totally. Who else yeah. sells the shoes they made for? Even genre movies are one. I know. Because it is an ongoing thing. So hopefully it's the first of, uh, of uh, many good things. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks a lot.